Hello everyone, this is Mrs. Reynolds, Mrs. Bear, and Mr. Goldman. And we're going to show you guys how to do some rotations using some patty paper that did not actually have um, raw meat on it. So no one needs to worry. Mr. Goldman was a little worried, weren't you? <laughs> I was. Yes. He made sure that we were sanitary and this is new patty paper that we're going to use as tracing paper to do rotations. All right, I'm gonna begin. So you take your piece of patty paper, which is like tracing paper, and you lay it on top of your picture. And the first thing you do is you trace your x-axis and your y-axis and your shape, I hope which you in this case, along. this is a triangle, and I label it triangle F, G, Y, just like it was underneath, so you can see I just traced it. I'm using a pen right now so that you guys can see what I'm doing clearly. You should be using a pencil, please. Now the directions say to rotate 90 degrees clockwise about the origin. This is the origin here, the point zero zero. 90 degrees clockwise. Which way does the clock go? Well, the clock's hands move to the right. So I'm going to turn my piece of patty paper to the right. So this vertical line needs to go 90 degrees and will line up with this vertical line here. I'll turn it to the right. I said vertical. I meant horizontal. Okay, I'll go back. Here is the picture. So this is vertical. When I turn it, it will be horizontal. I used the wrong word a moment ago. So I turn it 90 degrees to the right. It's now horizontal. And I stop. And now I need to take and put this triangle onto the page underneath it. And that's best done with a pencil. I should have showed you this first. I'm going to turn my paper over. And I'm going to color over my triangle with pencil. I'm just putting pencil onto the triangle. This is like secret spy decoder stuff. <laughs> and then I just flipped it back. Here's where it was. Rotate 90 clockwise. And now I'm gonna use my pencil and I'm going to trace over my triangle a little bit firmly. And the pencil I put on the other side of it what? transferred through. That's so cool. So I can see that this point is Y. So this is my Y prime. This is my F prime. And this is my G prime. And I'll use my straight edge and connect those points together. Mrs. Ronald's kids need to be using a straight edge. FYI. And there's my 90 degree clockwise rotation about the origin. Bravo, bravo, bravo. Let's yes. do another one. Encore. Notice this is the same triangle and the directions are rotate 90 degrees counterclockwise about the origin. So you start exactly the same. I don't have to retrace anything, it's the same triangle. So here's my X and Y axis, here's my triangle. Put my pencil on the origin. 90 degrees counterclockwise means this line that's vertical is going to move to the left counterclockwise until it's horizontal. I'll turn my patty paper. And now here it is in a completely different quadrant. It's now in the third quadrant. I'm going to take my pencil and trace over my triangle so it transfers the lead onto the paper underneath it. There it is. <laughs> These two are easily impressed. G prime, Y prime, it's like magic. F prime. Pick up my straight edge and connect the points to form my triangle. I'm going to flip my paper over and add a little bit more lead on there again. 
because after you trace it a few times, it starts to not work as well, so you have to reapply more lead. I'll save that for next time. I'm gonna get a new piece, because on this problem, problem three, I have a different triangle. So I could pick up the same piece of patty paper and just trade and you know trace the new triangle, but I'm just gonna get a new piece so it's a clear view for you guys. I trace my x-axis, trace my y-axis, trace my triangle. I'm going to flip my paper over and apply my lead to the other side of my triangle. The magic translation. Yes. Students who take art class probably know this from using tracing paper in art. All right, line it back up again. 180 degrees clockwise about the origin. Well, 180 like degrees. Line. Yes. That's like straight across. It is like a line. It's it's Mr. Goldman. How many 90s is that? That would be two 90 degree Very rotations. Good. So here's my origin. Clockwise means to the right. So this line that's vertical, when I move it 90 degrees, it'll be horizontal. But if I move it 90 again, it'll come back to being vertical. So it's going to go 90 and another 90. And now I'm in the opposite quadrant. I went like diagonally across to the other quadrant. And I'll trace my triangle over here. I bet you would get the same result if you went counterclockwise as well. Mrs. Reynolds, don't ruin problem four. <laughs> oh, well, did I just give away an answer? No. Pretend and I noticed when I moved my paper, I was off a tiny bit which will happen sometimes, maybe your paper slid, but I can tell where it's supposed to be. This is Z prime, and then this should be on the corner. It shouldn't be there, it should be on the corner, which is why I used pencil first. So if I make a little bit of a mistake, I can fix it. There's my three points. Connect them together. That's still on the V. And ladies and gentlemen, we have a 180 degrees clockwise rotation. Yes. Amazing. There's three more problems on this page. You guys should go ahead and try them on your own. Thanks for watching. Thank you. Thank you.